I'm good. And yourself? I'm good too. Hey, congrats on your promotion, Yaar. Lucky you, head of the department. Just 31 and already climbed the shoulder of the department. <laughs> Thank you. I was quite surprised at this sudden development myself. Poor Mr. Kapoor. Such a nice man. Tall, handsome, efficient. Oh, you succeeded him, right? Was he ill? No. Cardiac arrest on the golf course. Can you imagine? He was just 40 years old. Sorry. Anyways, what has happened has happened. But you deserve the position. Uncle and auntie must be so happy. Yes, they are overjoyed. And now they want me to get married. I also thought, why not? It's time anyway. So, we can expect a party soon, huh? <laughs> Let's see. In fact, I moved into a new apartment just two weeks back. Thought I'd be ready for it. How could I live with someone in that pigeon hole of mine in Park Circle? <laughs> so all settled in. Well, it's got three bedrooms and two bathrooms. First floor. Veranda faces south. Mosaic floors and grills on the windows. Landlord seems nice. Sounds good. But there's only one problem. I didn't notice at first actually. There is this light which disturbs my sleep at night. It comes from the room on the second floor of the opposite house. Even if I change my position on my bed, it still shines on my face. The light is on all night. How can anyone sleep in a room that is not totally dark? Why don't you close your window then? Arey yaar, you know how a south facing window has special advantages in Calcutta, right? Have you spoken to the owners? It's an old mansion, probably once owned by Zamindars. I don't think there are too many occupants. So, you don't know who lives there? A neighbor says a Mr. Gagan Chaudhary lives there. Apparently, he doesn't go out much. Perhaps he's grown quite old. It seems he used to paint once. But I wonder what goes on there now. Why don't you go and talk to him? He can at least keep his own window closed. Hmm. I've been thinking of it myself. I'll do it today only. I'll go at night. Then I can show him how the light disturbs. Yeah, maybe you could go around 11 p.m. Okay then, congrats once again and wish you more success. Thank you, Anjali. Bye. Take care. Bye. You take care too. No chakidar? Okay, good for me. What brought you here so late? Uh, well, I have come to make a complaint. Please don't mind. You are Mr. Gagan Chaudhary, I presume? Yes. Well, my name is Sudhin Sarkar. I live in the first floor flat in the house opposite yours. The fact is, you, you see the light in that room on your second floor? It disturbs me very much. It shines directly into my eyes. May I request you to keep your windows closed? I can't sleep at all because of the light. You'll appreciate how annoying that can be after a hard day's work. Uh, I realize that an easy way of keeping the light out is to shut my own window. But since it faces the south, I'm somewhat reluctant. No, you don't have to close your window. What? I shall close mine. Oh, it's most kind of you. I'm really very grateful. Thank you so much. I think I'll take a leave now. Are you leaving? It's quite late, isn't it? I'm sure you like to go to bed. I don't sleep at night. Do you read a lot? No. What do you do then? I paint. Does that mean that room is a studio? Yes, that's right. But I don't think too many people in the neighborhood know about it. Do you have a little time to spare? Time? Now? Uh, I mean... Allow me to tell you a few things. I've wanted to speak for a long time, but never found the chance to do so. My neighbors don't know about my work because they are not interested. A man who has spent his whole life as an artist. Nobody is even mildly curious. There was a time when I used to have my own exhibitions. Uh, but what kind of things do you paint? People. People? Portraits. From your imagination? No. I have never learned to do that. I cannot paint unless I have a model sitting for me. In the middle of the night? Yes. I do get models every night. Uh, what? You find that difficult to believe, don't you? Come with me to the studio. Oh, so many paintings. Did you do all these, Mr. Chaudhary? Yes. How do you like these? The work of a master. And yet, 
The whole tradition of oil painting is now extinct. In such a situation, can you imagine how artists like me must cope? But it doesn't seem like you lack work. Yes, but I found work only recently. Before that, for 15 long years, I kept advertising in papers. Not a single person responded. In the end, I had to give up. And then, how did you happen to start again? The circumstances changed, you see. Mr. Chaudhary, I think I recognize a few people in the paintings. That's Anantlal Nyogi, the famous singer. And the one near his portrait is uh, freedom fighter turned sannyasi Ashman and the Swami, right? But it has been a long time since they have died. All these people come simply to get their portraits done with no thought of owning them? No, Mr. Sarkar. None of these people needed a portrait for themselves. They were made only for my personal collection. Do you mean to say someone or the other still comes and sits for you every night? Yes. You'll see soon. What I mean, I'm certainly expecting someone tonight. But, but how do you contact all these people? Wait, I shall explain it all to you. My system is a little different. Take this book, open it and see what's inside. Obituary clippings of people, photos of dead people. But why have you collected all these? Can you see the pencil marks against a few? It means that a portrait has already been made. But you still haven't told me how you get in touch. Not many can do it, but I am an exception. It's not a matter of sending a letter or making a phone call. The place where they live has neither a telephone connection nor a postal system. I have to use a totally different way to get in touch. So are you trying to tell me that you made these portraits after all these people died? How could I have learned about them unless they were dead, Sudhin Babu? I don't know many people in Calcutta. In any case, no one can be totally free before death. Only a man who is no more has endless freedom, boundless time and patience. He does not mind sitting in that chair for hours, quite motionless, until every detail in the portrait is perfect. It's midnight. Time for him to come. Who? The man who will sit for me tonight. There. Can you hear his footsteps? If you don't believe me, come and see for yourself. Oh my god. My god, I know this man. I know him. He, he's my boss who died a few months back. Were you not talking about establishing contact with him, Babu? It's very simple. They come just as I beckon at them. Ah, oh, my, my head is aching. Everything around me is turning dark. I think I'm fainting. Dada Babu, Dada Babu, open the door, Dada Babu. Wait a minute. It's so late. Hello. Yes, you? I know I overslept. Didn't you hear anything? No. What happened? The old Mr. Chaudhary, he passed away last night. He had been ailing for quite some time. They left the light on all night in his room. Didn't you notice? 